Hey everyone, this is Sam Gold from NFLBreakdowns.com, and I'm back with my latest installment of our quarterback touchdown interception series. In this breakdown, we'll take a look at the general trends of how Marcus Mariota scored 22 touchdowns in his rookie season in the NFL. The first touchdown we'll look at was against the Cleveland Browns in the second week of the season. It's 4th and 6 in the middle of the 4th quarter while the Titans were down 7-21. to The Browns have two safeties on the field, but run cover 1 with the cornerbacks playing man-to-man -man coverage on the receivers. Marcus Mariota starts by reading the left side of the field, watching the slant corner combination. Both receivers are covered well, so he moves on to the drag route crossing the middle of the field. It's covered. Mariota stays in the pocket progressing through his reads. Right before he gets hit, he fires the football into the back of the end zone to find Doral Green Beckham's deep in route. The pass is thrown slightly high, but DGB is still able to bring the ball down for the score. This is an excellent example of Mariota showing his ability to calmly progress through his reads as the pocket starts collapsing. The next two touchdowns are from the Titans' Week 13 matchup versus the Jaguars. It's 2nd and 18 on the Jaguars' 47-yard line after Mariota took a sack on first down. The Titans are currently up 21-19. Mariota lines up in shotgun slot right, with Doral Green Beckham split wide right. The Jaguars play with one deep safety and run cover 3 buzz post-snap, dropping the outside cornerbacks in deep third zones, while the strong safety buzzes into an inside underneath zone. Both DGB and Harry Douglas run deep in routes on the right side of the field. While the left receiver clears out the deep left zone, in this double in route combination, Mariota has a choice on who he wants to target downfield, DGB or Douglas. Mariota chooses DGB. The pass was thrown in stride, but slightly high. DGB uses length again, just like the previous play to extend for the football. Sergio Brown lays a shoulder hit on the large wide receiver, but he doesn't wrap up. This allows DGB to bounce off of him and escape down the field for this 47 yard score. Mariota's footwork in the pocket is impeccable. He takes a crisp five step drop from shotgun then shifts around the pocket fluidly avoiding the pressure allowed from the right tackle using cross steps and gather steps to prepare for the next throw down the field. Proper, consistent footwork is very good to see from a rookie quarterback. Showing this in the face of danger is a great sign if you are a Titans fan. Later in the fourth quarter, the Titans were down 28-32. It's third and seven on the 13 yard line. The Jaguars rush six and Mario feels the pressure from the blitz immediately. After his drop, a hole opens on the left side of the field and he scrambles through it. Mario sprints down the field and goes untouched for the first 30 yards. At the 20 yard line, Aaron Colvin almost catches him, but Kendall Wright shows an amazing awareness to knock him out of the play. The Titans up winning the game 42 39. The other rush touchdown Mariota had on the season was on a read option run where the edge defender crashed hard on the fake. This opened up a 23 yard score for Mariota to scamper through for the touchdown in the Jaguars' Week 11 match. In Week 9, Mariota benefited heavily from a very lucky bounce versus the Saints. On the left side of the formation, the Titans have Justin Hunter and Delaney Walker in twin stacks. Justin Hunter runs a post, with Delaney Walker runs a deep out route underneath him. The Saints bring six, forcing Mario to throw the ball early. He lobs the ball deep down the field, and Walker loses the ball mid-flight. Two Saints defenders attempt to intercept the pass, but they collide, causing the ball to bounce. Walker grabs the ball and escapes at the sideline. To secure the touchdown, Justin Hunter levels linebacker number 57, David Hawthorne, down the field. This is an awful decision by Marcus Mariota. It's 3rd and 6 at the end of the first quarter, while Titans were trailing 3-14. If the Saints intercepted this pass, there's a very good chance they could have returned it for 6, putting this game out of reach early. Ironically, the Titans end up winning in overtime. The final touchdown we'll look at was against the New York Jets in Week 14. Marta motions outside to the right, and runs a slow go to the end zone up the right sideline. Safety Calvin Pryor, number 25, follows him in man-to-man -man coverage. Right after the snap, Pryor trips, and Mariota catches a wide open pass from the running back for the touchdown. I really don't like this decision to have Mariota run a route as a wide receiver. The Titans are already down 27-0 late in the third, and have no reason to risk the franchise quarterback. I get that you want to provide a spark for your team, but it's week 13, you are already practically out of the playoff hunt, and most important thing a rookie needs is a full offseason uninjured to keep progressing. A theme that I noticed on tape was how willing Mariota was to take a chance down the field. Sometimes it backfired, a theme we'll delve deeper into in my next interception breakdown, but it provided a spark for this offense, especially considering that 12 of Mariota's touchdowns came while the Titans were trailing their opponent. One of the biggest issues the Titans faced was having the 32nd ranked offensive line in pass protection, according to DVOA. This is the main reason why the Titans drafted Jack Conklin from Michigan State 8th overall to play right tackle, and Derrick Henry in the second round to ease the pressure off of Mariota. Well that's it for me. In my next breakdown, we'll take a look at Mariota's 10 receptions, discuss the trends of them, and how he can improve in the future. So subscribe to my channel and be on the lookout for that video. You can find me on Twitter at Samuel Gold, 
And if you want to support my work with a donation, follow the link to my Patreon account in the notes are on screen.